Hello everybody, hope all is well. I, back by popular demand, I was told to do another video on how to create a Twitter application. Um, there are some steps involved, so we'll start now. First thing you want to do is when you log in to your Twitter account, you want to go to the gear box here and you want to go to settings. Once you get to settings, you want to go to apps. Now the app that we're trying to create is a application that communicates with Twitter. Uh, this is a WordPress blog. We want a live Twitter feed at the bottom of our web page. So something like this, where people can see your tweets live. This is a widget in WordPress that requires a uh, Twitter application, a Twitter API key, and a token to work. So we have to create the application for that in Twitter. So to do that, we're going to have to go to, remember, we're logged in, so we're going to have to go to dev.twitter.com. That's the Twitter development, where, development site where you create your Twitter applications, right? So what you want to do is you want to go here and you want to go to my applications. So as you can see with this account, this uh, demo account, there's no application. So we have to create the new application. So we're going to name this application. You can name it whatever you want, but you can't use Twitter's name in it because you own the application. Technically, if you create the application, you you own the application. So Twitter doesn't want like their name. You're using their tools to create sort of like your own document, your own application, similar to like a Word document. So um, in theory, okay. Uh, so you can name it anything you want. So in this case, we'll use uh, uh, feed. It can be spaces, it can be whatever, just as long as it's no more than 32 characters. All right. So you just want to put uh, remember they are going to Twitter is going to run a live check to see if that application name is already taken. If it is, it'll deny the application. So you also have to think about an application as a permission to use uh, Twitter's application program interface. So they check you out, make sure you're all right, and so on and so forth. So you can also look at it that way. But anyways, so we'll say this is a feed widget feed for blog. You can call, again, the description. It can be anything you want. It doesn't have to be all boggled like this. This is just a demonstration. So. Obviously, this is a blog, so we want to go blog dot and w dash marketing dot com, <clears throat> and we want to make sure we're using the full website URL. Okay, the callback URL you want to leave the same, unless you have a unless you're trying to create an application that tells you uh, not to. So if you have like an OAuth or uh, you have like a type of uh, plugin, let's say with WordPress where people want to log in with their Facebook and Twitter credentials, or in this case specifically Twitter, the callback URL might be different. But in this case specifically for a basic application, you don't need to really, this should be the same. Also, if you're using an SSL cert, make sure you're putting the S there and the S there. All right. So obviously, I already know what these rules are, so we can just hit yes for the purposes of this demonstration, and we'll create the Twitter application. Okay, so the Twitter application has been created. So as you can see here, we have the application program interface key, the callback URL, uh, there's no sign in with Twitter feature here, uh, app only authentication. So you see everything has request token URL, all that. So we just want to make sure we go over everything. And here are the details. We don't need to fill this out. Okay. 
And so we have our API keys. Now we have to generate we have to generate a token. So to do that, before we go to permissions, to do that, we're gonna have to go create my token access. I'm sorry, we have to create a token, not regenerate. <laughs> sorry, it's late. Um, so as you can see, we have the token. Okay. So your application access token has been su successfully generated. It may take a moment for changes you have made to reflect refresh. So let's just hit refresh and we should see the token. Okay, so this is the token. So I'll tell you why you need this. So most, if you're using Joomla, Drupal, WordPress, uh, Magento, um, when you are uh, setting up a, an API key or token, uh, usually there are fields you have to fill out. So we'll go over what those fields are right now. So let's go to this specific plugin and put in the Twitter API information. So we need to put in the consumer key. So we just go and we simply match the, the consumer key. And there we go. I've got a lot of windows open, sorry. <laughs> so this is the API key. Copy that. Ah. Let's just go here. API key. Put in the consumer secret. Put in the consumer secret here, back here. API secret, also interchangeably used as uh, consumer secret. And we have the access token, which is right here. and the token secret, or the access secret, this calls it. One and the same, all right. All right, so I'll go here. Ah, all right. Now we're gonna save it, we're gonna test it out. So we've been authenticated, we usually, when we're setting up widgets uh, in WordPress, usually uh, all that is required is the Twitter handle, and it'll read from how uh, this information here that we put in. So let's go to widgets, and let's see, let's find this widget here. Tweets. All right, so let's put the Twitter handle here. All right. Let's save it. Remember, before we didn't see anything there. Let's see if it's reading now from Twitter. All right. As you can see, it's now reading from Twitter. So it's pretty cool, huh? So. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and check us out at GoPryWeb uh, on Twitter. Speaking of Twitter. All right. You take care. Bye-bye.